This tiny part fixed one of the most frustrating problems on the minimal. No mods, no upgrade kits, just smart geometry and a brass knob. The find feed engagement on these small minimaling machines, honestly, it's never worked that well. Set it too tight and disengaging it becomes a fight. Loosen it just a little bit and it might pop out right in the middle of a critical cut. And let's not forget Backlash. The stock fine feed adds a solid 0.2 mm, nearly 8 thou. I just wanted it to work. Smoothly, reliably, no surprises. And with no backlash in the fine feed. So, I built a custom engagement clutch that fits straight into the original setup. No kits, no irreversible mods, just a cast iron disc and a tightening knob. And honestly, even I was surprised by how well it worked. Let me show you how I made it. I started with a leftover piece of cast iron from a previous project. Faced it off and turned it down to match the diameter of the downfeed wheel core. Then I drilled it out to fit over the thickest part of the pinion axle, key and all. Next, I bored a shallow recess so the clutch would seat tightly against the back of the downfeed wheel. Once the fit felt right, I parted it off to the correct width. And just to make it look the part, I turned a gentle taper on the outside, matching the original downfit wheel. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I turned an 8 degree self-holding taper onto the original third wheel. Then, bought a matching taper inside the clutch. With that taper, the two parts clamp together so tightly, they behave like one solid part. No slipping, no play, no backlash. And if you ever need to take it apart, no problem. Just flip the axle and knock the tooth wheel out from behind. Easy. To hold it all together, I drilled and tapped the end of the pinion axle. Then I made a knurled brass knob that fits onto an Allen bolt. But tightening it took some real talk, and I didn't want to chew up the brass. So I recessed the knob to fit a thrust bearing. That way I could tighten the clutch firmly, while still being able to loosen it with ease. And that matters, because the clutch tends to self-tighten a little during use. At first, I'd unscrew the knob just a bit too far, and the thrust washer would fall out. So, I machined a recess into the downfed wheel and glued the washer in place. Now it stays put and everything works beautifully. Now I've got a clutch 
that is easy to engage and disengage, strong enough to hold under load and smooth enough to operate with just your fingers. Best of all, it eliminated the last bit of backlash in my fine feed mechanism. Not bad for some leftover cast iron and a bit of brass. Check out the next idea by clicking the link on screen. See you in the next project.